In the previous videos, we have seen how to deploy applications to Kubernetes. In all those cases, we allowed Kubernetes to decide which nodes the pods would run on. We only specified the number of instances that we need and Kubernetes would deploy them in an optimized way. However, there are cases where we want to install a pod on each node or a subset of nodes. Daemon sets can be used to do that. Each node contains a single instance of the daemon set. As nodes are added, a pod is automatically started in that node, and as nodes are deleted, the pod is evicted from that node. Here are a few examples where daemon set can be used. Say so each node needs to run a logging agent, daemon sets can be used to run a logging agent on each node. Another example is a metrics collector that can run on each node and send the node's metrics to a central system. A different example is running a distributed file system that runs an agent on each node. Daemon sets generally run identical pod in each node. However, different pods based on the hardware and configuration can also be run by the same daemon set definition. Let's look at daemon set in action. We will use the Kubernetes cluster on AWS that we created in the previous video. Here's the YAML file for the daemon set. The daemon specification uses a selector to select the pods. The template for pod specification runs one container that prints hello world every 10 seconds. This pod will be run on all nodes. Let's see that in action. I'll switch to the terminal now. To follow along, download the source code for the project and cd to kubernetes underscore daemon set folder. Use kubectl apply minus f kubernetes underscore daemon set dot yaml file to create the daemon set. To check if the pods are running, type in kubectl get pods. We see that two pods are running. We print the logs from the first pod and then the second pod. Both pods are writing to the logs as we expected. Let's double check that the pods are running in different nodes. Type in kubectl get pods minus o wide and this prints a node on which the pods are running. They are both running on different nodes. We now use Kops edit ig nodes to change the number of nodes from 2 to 3. I have edited the capacity of the autoscaling group for the node to 3. Currently we have two nodes and one master. To send the changes to the cluster, type in Kops update cluster name dash dash yes. This will add a new node. We want to see a hello world pod in the new node. The third node is now ready. Let's list the pods and we see a new pod created. We check the logs and the logs look fine. Next we edit the nodes definition to change the number of nodes to 1. We list the pods and there is only one pod now. This finishes our demo on daemon set. Don't forget to delete the cluster once you have finished experimenting. Daemon sets are used extensively for logging and monitoring. In the next video, we will look at how to send all logs from the Kubernetes cluster to Elasticsearch. See you in the next video.